When it comes to child care, French parents overwhelmingly prefer enrolling their little ones in creches, or daycare centers for children under the age of three. But these nurseries have been ringing alarm bells, as have parents. Decades of cost-cutting measures have created a situation where many centres say that they are no longer able to provide adequate care. Hello and welcome to France in Focus. Over 400,000 babies and toddlers are enrolled in creches in France. Nationwide, about the same number are also refused a spot in these nurseries. This is due in part to a lack of skilled workers. For nearly half of France's 5,000 creches say they regularly have a hard time filling vacancies. And as we're about to see, these vacant spots and the proposed controversial solutions to fill them, well, they're just the tip of the iceberg. With its brand new premises, flashy toys and relaxed atmosphere, children and adults alike make the most of their days in this Paris nursery. The children are in small groups, which allows us to deal with their individual needs, as you can see. We're able to spend time with them, and that's really important to us. But despite the comfortable working conditions, Roxanne wants more recognition and better pay. We often hear about improvements for medical workers and for teachers, but not necessarily for those of us working with young children, which is a shame because it's like we're being forgotten about. Many people in the sector say that reforms haven't been going in the right direction and that childcare is getting out of hand. In an effort to counter staff shortages, nurseries are now allowed to hire non-qualified staff so long as they've received three weeks' worth of training. Professionals in our sector have gone through courses. They have official qualifications, certifications. It's basically telling them that anyone who does 120 hours of training can do their job. And entrusting someone who's received such a small amount of training is unthinkable to me. After 19 years working in the sector, this former nursery head has burnt out. I found myself caring for three children at the same time. I'd be rocking one to sleep with my foot. I had another on my back. And I'd be feeding a third one at the same time. When you have to do nine-hour shifts because there isn't enough staff, it's exhausting. Yes, problems will occur when you end up feeding them one after the other, while you don't check the temperature properly, when a child needs to be rocked because it's having trouble digesting, while there isn't the time, you end up tending to the one that's crying the loudest. And we've received dozens of similar testimonies. Nurseries are baby factories aimed at making as much profit as possible. I've seen colleagues speak very badly to the children. There was a lot of disturbing behaviour. Interns or even cleaners were regularly asked to help with the children. Faced with declining working conditions and an increasingly business-like approach, around half of France's nurseries are said to be experiencing staff shortages. We're joined by Frédéric Gros. Thank you for being with us. You are a pediatric psychologist. You're also a former educator of young children. Uh, we've just seen a report on the uh, challenges facing clashes. What, in your view, is the source of this problem? The crisis in childcare has been around for 10 years. We've had a series of decrees, laws that have added to the workload of childcare staff, and they haven't increased the numbers of staff. We've ended up with staff doing more tasks that take them away from the children. This has made their work a lot more complicated as they've ended up doing daily tasks that are unrelated to their main job, which is looking after children. To try and fill these vacancies, the government lifted the diploma requirements for nursery workers. Is this going to work? Are there risks already? There is a strike planned because of this? 
People are criticizing a decree that says there will be uncertified professionals. In fact, in childcare, that's always been the case. Almost 60% of staff in nurseries have very few qualifications or none at all. It's always been like that. Here what's important to know is that there's been a shift. In fact, before, staff didn't have to train unqualified staff during work time. Now they will join the team and this adds to the workload of the staff who are already there. I mean, they're going to train people up whilst they're looking after children, even though they are already overworked. The system is being distorted. I mean, we ask for help and instead of getting help, you have more work. The privatization of creches uh, is often blamed for a sort of unraveling of the sector. Uh, are private creches the problem? Or are they part of the solution? When you talk about private nurseries, you need to be careful because there are big nurseries where their aim is profit, making money. It's often in these places that you'll find things going wrong. For example, sometimes they'll let contracts run out so they don't have to recruit straight away, make savings on food, water, nappies, which is well known. Then you have the little private nurseries, which work very well. So at some point, there needs to be more checks and balances in some private nurseries because they are part of the problem at the moment. They've optimized how things run. They're trying to make the most profit possible, leading to the issues we know about. In France, think about retirement homes, hospitals. They have very strict budget management and this doesn't work with childcare. These are vulnerable people, fragile. You need staff, quality food, time. And generally speaking, private nurseries in the big structures, they run like a company and they try to cut back as much as possible. And that's an issue for childcare. That needs to be taken into account. Generally speaking, the negative effects of collective care on babies are underestimated. Nannies are the number one uh, childcare solution for under threes. But by 2030, 44% of the accredited sitters, they will be retiring. Is the child care crisis about to get worse? Yes, this is going to be a problem. In France, we have a bad notion of the job, that when you work with babies, you're badly paid, badly thought of. There's no recognition in society. Nannies have the same issues as nursery workers. They aren't acknowledged. It's increasingly the case that nannies aren't getting paid by parents. There are issues about people getting decent salaries. It's a real problem we found in the entire childcare sector, even in nursery schools. There's no gratitude towards the professionals who work with children so it doesn't end up being a vocation. If you think about it, would you want to spend your entire day with babies, who can sometimes be difficult, with a low salary, working 10 hours straight? I'll let you decide. Should parents be scared about the kind of care that their babies and their toddlers receive in nurseries? In France, we have a real issue with nurseries. There's a kind of propaganda surrounding them saying it's good for kids. Collective care will help children learn to socialize. Parents have blind trust in them. And yet there are problems. I did research into what professionals see and what parents see with regards to misconduct in nurseries. There's a big gap. Professionals are very aware of what's going on in nurseries. Parents don't see it. They're there a little in the morning, a little in the evening. They don't see it. They trust what the staff tell them when they say the child has eaten well, slept well, when everything's good. Professionals also need to let parents know when things aren't OK. Parents also need to remain alert, keep an eye on your child's behaviour. Every now and again, they should drop into the nursery outside of the usual hours to see what's going on. It's the same rule that should be applied to nannies. We know right now that there's a commonplace misconduct towards children that's grown over the past few years in France, despite the law against it. It's a real problem. There's neglect, failures in how we look off the children. Thank you for your time. Thank you for speaking with us. Thank you. For many parents, gaining admission into a crash is a bit like winning the lottery. But for those that don't get a coveted spot, well, they have to find a plan B. Some call the grandparents, others hire nannies, and some even decide to quit their jobs. Our reporters spoke to parents who were left scrambling to find childcare. France is grinding back into action after the summer holidays, and Berenice Laillé should have been heading back to work. But this single mom has no childcare for her five-month-old baby. 
I don't have any family members or friends who can take care of him full time. So I have to look after him myself and postpone my return. And yet everything was meant to be in place. Little Gabriel had a spot in nursery for September. But in mid-August, three weeks before she was set to go back to work, Berenice received a letter and all her plans fell apart. It was a total shock. Unfortunately, this letter told me that because of recruitment issues at the nursery, which is brand new and quite a big nursery with lots of staff, well, they wouldn't have room for my son. So he wouldn't be able to go until mid-November. Finding a last-minute plan B, an almost impossible task, which Berenice undertakes every day. Hello, I'm looking for a nanny for my five-month-old son. Fortunately, she's getting help from the town's childcare department. Bonjour. Montreuil dedicates a large part of its budget to childcare, but the communist mayor wants the government to do more. The state needs to make childcare a public service so towns have the right resources and, above all, pay staff correctly. There is not enough funding for current family needs. Shortages are particularly visible in the youngest departments in France. In Seine-Saint-Denis, more than a third of the population is under 25, and birth rates are very high. In Montreuil, barely a quarter of nursery requests are accepted. Berenice, meanwhile, found a childcare solution after we spoke to her. She will be able to return to work in October. That's all we have time for. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more news on France 24.